the video and hit the goddamn subscribe button. We're back with another one, this time from Jason Black, and I'm here for the jokes. Let's get to it. Uh, my name is Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Where are you calling from? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Samantha from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And what is on your mind, Samantha? <laughs> Pick up. Well, I was listening to your um, the program. And, um, and I've been listening to you. And I know I'm an average woman. I mean, I'm in my 40s. I'm okay. Overweight and everything. But I've been wanting to call you about the relationship I'm in. I mean, even though I have all the negatives, I've still been in a relationship for about four and a half years now. Okay. And I was just wanting to get your advice to see if people are staying in. Let me find out here how old are you, Samantha? I'm 43. Okay, you said you were 43 years old. You're a little bit paunchy here. Um, do you have any kids, Samantha? No, no kids. Okay. And how old is this gentleman? He is um, 47, 46. Okay. And what does he do for a living? Well, I mean, he's the average guy. He works in the other thing. He works in the automotive industry, but he's not a mechanic per se. Oh, that's not he's good. In the automotive industry. All right. Let me tell you all what is not good about what she just said. Okay. What is not good about what she just said is do you realize that she's all... I asked her what he does for a living. She told me and then immediately rendered her judgment on it. And I want you all to just pay attention. She's being honest. No, that's fine with it. I just want you all to understand she's being honest. She's being honest. She's being honest. Yeah. Why did you get with this man in the first place at the age of 38? Why? Well, okay, I'll be honest about it. Well, I, I just got divorced. Well, I got divorced in 2014. And, um, you know, I was like, well, you can go ahead and go back out to the dating pool. And this is before I started listening to you. <laughs> if I was listening to you before then, I would have never stepped out to the dating pool. But it was just, and I thought I'd go back out to the dating world and see what it was like, and we met. And I mean, we get along well. Um, I mean, there are other issues and things going on, but um, the, I mean, we have a decent relationship. It's just, you know, we've been together four and a half years. I know he's probably not, he's not the guy that's going to upgrade me in, in four and a half years. We, we talk about, because he's divorced too, and we talk about marriage, and he goes on the, uh, Marriage is just a piece of paper. Right, but wait, wait, wait. But, right, but what I'm saying though is that you got with him four years ago. So, what was it that attracted you to him? <clears throat> I guess because he just treated me well. Okay. That's the main thing. He treated you well. Can we be honest about something, Samantha? Just just between okay. you, me, and a few thousand listeners, okay? J just between the two of us. <laughs> Samantha, okay. can we just be honest? What was this guy doing for a living when you met him? The same thing he does now. Okay. And where was he living when you met him? Well, I mean, that's the other thing. Um, can I just lay it all out? I mean, he doesn't have his own place or anything. He rents a room in his sister's home. So every time you want to go see him, you got to go see his sister. Well, no, we just come to my home. Oh, okay. This is so, what we normally do. So without your place, you'd have to be seeing his sister. Yeah, basically, yeah. And four years later, his situation has not changed. Yeah, yeah. All right. I guess that's my main question. Should I even stay in something like this? You were perfectly fine with all of this when you met him. For four years. You've though. been perfectly fine with it yeah. enough to stay for four years. You're calling me because you're asking a different question. What you are really trying to ask me, Samantha, is Jason? Yes. 
I would like to get an appraisal. All right, Samantha. I can certainly give you one. You are 42 years old. Have you ever been pregnant? No. Okay, Samantha, what size do you wear? Well, I told you I'm a plus size. No, that, that, no plus ain't a number. Give me a number. <laughs> what is the number, Samantha? And plus ain't a number. Honest, I can hear the weight through the phone. I can hear it. I know, you can hear it. <laughs> you can hear the weight. <laughs> Take a deep breath. I can hear the blubber through the receiver just laying on me. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up. Can I just say, okay, I'm, not, I'm a size 22. There you go. I'm just saying. There you go. All right. I said I was a plus size in the do you, I got do you feel effect. better about that now? <laughs> do you feel better about that now? Better about what I said it. Yes. Do you feel better now that you said it? Does that feel better for you now? Okay. Yeah. Now okay. You, you got that off your chest and everything. Is, isn't that better now? That that that's that's the kind of thing that you really want to have right there. That's going to be important to you. Okay. You need somebody who's going to be honest with you. <laughs> to be a size twenty-two, that means you got to be three hundred plus. No, actually, I'm not. No. Baby. Samantha is Samantha. being no, I, disingenuous. No, I, I, I just on, got Sam. weighed yesterday. I'm not over 300. No. We got weighed yesterday. Would you walk up across the truck scales at the state line? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had my yearly physical yesterday. What'd you do? Put, what what'd the doctor do? Put two scales side by side and add the numbers up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, mean, I, I thought you knew about sizes and everything. If you're a 22, you're not 300 plus. In your case, okay, Samantha. All right. I mean, I'm not. I, I, how much I, do I you? How much do you think you weigh, Samantha? <laughs> you want me to give the number? Let me just say, I just told you the size I wear. But I'm not over three hundred. Sam I see the chat room. People, are Samantha, oh, over, here, over, over here, over, over here, Samantha. You a size twenty-two. What is the number on that scale? Yeah. There's a reason for that. What's the number on that scale, Samantha? What's the number? It's in the, It's over 250. Okay, baby, it's, it's over two. It's not over 300. It's over 280. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> There's the all 280. kinds of things that are going on. And well, I'm going to the doctor. Yeah, but baby, you're in your 40s and ain't did nothing about it. So that's, I want you to understand that you were like this in your 30s. And that's how you ended up with him. Because I asked you all those questions to bring you this point. You couldn't do any better. And that's the real reason okay. that you are with him. Because what you're really asking me is, Jason, yeah. can I do better than him? Right now, the answer isn't no. The answer is, oh, hell no. <laughs> You better kiss this man's booty cheeks every morning because this is the best you can do. I mean, okay. do, do you, you... I don't feel like you're going to say that. I mean, do you think that there's a doctor out there? Go ask your, your physician if what he thinks. You think there's a doctor, a lawyer, a working professional who makes six figures, who can't wait to get next to your sterling personality packed into this ornate and stylish size 22, 280-pounder frame? That he's worked all these years to have all of this ability and to have all of this excess capacity and that he did all of that and went through all of this. This man has got his life together so that you would be his reward. Yeah. Do you really think that's do you really think that's what he was doing yeah. it for? <laughs> so what I'm saying is you didn't just this didn't just happen in 2021. You've been like this for a while. And he is the report card on what you have and haven't been doing. So when I'm saying, and now you're in your 40s. Now you're in your 40s. Mm -hmm. I think it's cool that she took all the jokes in stride. She didn't get sensitive about it. And I also think it's funny how Jason sniffed out 
her calling, trying to see if she could upgrade or see if she was upgrade eligible because I didn't even see that coming within the call. I thought she was just calling to converse she, that she was a fan of the show, but she was really trying to gauge Jason's evaluation of her, which is funny. And it goes back to something we said before in previous videos, how a lot of average women think they're better than their average male counterparts. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just pothead talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. My name is Theodore Cooper, but you can call me bitch. Do better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?